Morning everybody, Dan here from the Headwaters Kayak Shop and I'm hanging out today in Page, Arizona. I made the drive all the way out here to deliver some field freeze and meet up with my buddy Craig from Lake Pal Adventure Company. Unfortunately for us, uh, the wind's supposed to be really high so we can't go paddling. But the good news is Craig's got some fat bikes, which if you guys know me, like on my personal page, I love bikes. I ride bikes all the time and he does fat bike tours. So instead of going kayaking today, we're gonna go take you guys out on some fat bikes, show you around the Mesa and uh, have a good time. Look at them all. Oh, full suspension electric fat bikes. They all have these Bosch motors in here that basically amplify your pedal stroke. So as you pedal, it gives you more power. It gives you bionic legs basically, which we're gonna need today because we're gonna be running through some sand, right, Craig? That's right. Gives oh. you the legs and lungs you wish you had. All right, let's do it. There's my steed for the day. So what's the plan, Craig? Where are we going today? Uh, we're gonna go check out um, some trails around Page in between the airport and the rim trail and maybe we'll even drop down below the rim trail. Cool. So like check slick... out some, some of the wilds. Cool. Some slick rock and some sand and all of, all of the above. Yeah, I can never trust the forecast, eh? Right over Antelope Canyon, you see the, the tour boat coming in. So if you were to go back up that way, that'd be the Antelope Canyon tour these guys do. Nice. Possible that you could ride on that. That's <laughs> so cool. Look at these guys. Like big horned sheep out here. This is a lookout on the ride you guys do with your clients. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They took me on some like, uh, Super sneaky local stuff that I don't think everyone gets to see. A little bit more rowdy than I think you'd want to take a tourist on, huh? Uh, not everybody's a <laughs> professional, Dan. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to take anybody that doesn't want to go. Yeah, but I tell you what, we're on some double track up this way near the, uh, near the rim, um, like some razor roads, and these things are a blast out there. You're just pumping the whoops, going through the sand. So the wind's been holding off and the legs are feeling good. The E assist makes it so you can just go like three times as far. We decided to come check out a new spot, a bunch of slick rock. They're supposed to be putting in some kind of bike park here. So, so let's go scope it out. Look at this place. It's a sandstone playground look at these just walls half pipes of sandstone Across these sandy washes, this bike just floats high. Super easy. Climb back out of the lower lands, back up on the mesa. All right, well that's a wrap. We made it back with about one bar. I had one bar, Craig, you, I think you ran out, huh? I ran out. Like on the last downhill coasting in. Yeah. How many miles did you get out of one of these? Well, we probably went about 25 today, maybe. Really? Yeah. 25 miles and I mean, I feel like I went on a salt bike ride, but not 25 miles of that technical. But it's awesome, dude. If you guys are in the area, definitely hit up Craig. Come out and check these bikes out. Um, you don't have to do what we did today. They've got a lot more mellow stuff. In fact, you probably won't get to do what we did today. 
Uh, but there's so much good riding around this area, and Craig's definitely the man that, uh, that knows it. So come on by. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.